my headphones on, I got uh, Jonathan Hunsaker, the founder of Organics, on the line. I think I got them on correctly here. So, uh, Jonathan, are you there? I am. Can you hear me, sir? Oh, the, oh, and looking good. Yeah, I see. And not only hear you, I see you. So uh, you're getting nice. into some of the fun here, huh? You've been hearing uh, people torturing me about my age. <laughs> I am. I was going to go with the high 40s, 48. <laughs> see, this is a guy that, yeah, so now, now he's going to get my best attention throughout the rest of this. Do you, I, do you know my age, actually, or you don't? I don't. I oh, don't wow. know your age. Oh, oh, I thought you knew. Okay, so you're going to go 48. Okay, that's a good guess. I am. We're going to give something away to the, the first person who guessed right. I think maybe too many people looked it up, so I can't, uh, they're, they're going to be looking up. Uh, so, uh, so, all right, well then, uh, you know, at the end of our interview, Jonathan, I'm going to uh, go ahead and reveal the age. We'll see, we'll see uh, you know, who got it right. I, I, I'm, I'm really wondering about that person who guessed me 74, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think it takes some guts to go on and ask people to tell your age. So, or maybe they're just trying to think that on. I must look remarkable for my age or something. I don't know. So, Jonathan, thanks for taking time on the uh, on a Saturday to be with us. And again, you know, I, I, I can only handpick a few people uh, to be on during our live broadcast. Uh, and and quite frankly, uh, you know, they're they're people who are utilizing or, or have products that they're talking about or subjects they're talking about that are incorporated into my life and my family's life and certainly organics is one of those and uh, you know as I explained earlier you know, when you weren't on I said hey this isn't a pitch fest we didn't get here to say hey yeah I, I at one point I started cracking up because it was unwittingly I said I'm, I, I feel like we're starting to sound like QVC that's not <laughs> that's not what we're supposed to be doing here but the bottom line is people have questions and then people have challenges they're trying to overcome and we can give them the information but if we don't have a solution for them I feel like it's like you're, they're left hanging so uh, so I can say that one of the probably the most asked question along the way was you know now that I've had all these experiences and have been with all these people you know what are some of the things that I'm taking and uh, uh, you know and and I want to say that there's an, I think there's a, a, an extraordinary amount of great products out there um, and certainly I, I've done my research and, and, and I take some of these products and other people you know have their own conclusions that they've drawn but one of the things I loved about our interview Jonathan was you simplified another one of the most popular questions being asked which is how do you rate the value of a particular supplement because you can go with any type of supplement call it a, a, a bone broth protein call it a, uh, a multivitamin call it uh, a curcumin call it uh, you know uh, B complex whatever it might be and you'll get ranges of prices that are almost incomprehensible at how you know the difference between the lower and the higher and how far spread there is and then people say uh, you know I, I want to make an investment and get a you know, good value for my money but man it's all over the map how do I sort this out and I feel like you did one of the best jobs at sorting that out so can we have that conversation absolutely so yeah and thank you for having me on here I'm not the guy that's usually in front of the camera I'm used to being behind the scenes so being interviewed number one is is gets the nerves going doing it live uh, also adds more to it so bear with me as I kind of work through some of the nerves and uh, deliver the information that you're looking for. So first and foremost, I mean, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist, I'm not a researcher, not an academic. I'm actually a high school dropout. I dropped out to start my first business. Um, so what I am is I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a businessman, which means I'm just really good at solving problems. I'm mean, really good at finding people that are smarter than me at doing things. And so I really wanna set that context because it sets the context for the whole conversation. What I'm gonna share with you and what I've discovered through my, my own health journey and my journey into the supplement space is different than what a lot of supplement companies want to talk about, kind of exposing what's going on behind the scenes, really you know, pulling the curtain back on really what's going on and adding transparency to an industry that has been very um, secluded, so to speak, been very hush-hush, been very profit-driven. So, you know, one of, the, one of the ways to try to really explain the different qualities of supplements is really knowing what you're looking at, right? So I think the bare bottom is a synthetic supplement. These are going to be your one-a-days. These are the ones you see commercials for on TV. Synthetic vitamins, I mean, really your body doesn't even recognize it as real food. It, it's not even a, a bioavailable element. Bioavailable meaning how much can your body absorb it? 
These synthetics are created in a lab. Most of them are derived from an oil byproduct like, um, like coal tar or different things like that. And so they've synthetically created this vitamin to have the same structure as it would appear in nature. And then they put it together in a pill and they've sold it to you saying, look, here's a great vitamin for you. And you know, it's gonna give you 15,000% of the daily recommended um, allowance for vitamin C, right? Ascorbic acid, that's a, that's a great synthetic um, explanation or uh, example. So that's bottom of the barrel. Your body can't really recognize it. They're probably selling for 30, $35 for a multivitamin. It costs about $2 to manufacture and bottle um, and package that supplement, that 30-day supply. Um, what you find, unfortunately, as I dug deeper in the supplement industry when I first got into it, the multiples that a lot of these companies have is uh, astronomical. So we're seeing multiples with a lot of products out there, anywhere from 10 to 12, upwards of 20, right? So most supplements, I would say, is about a 12X multiple. It kind of gives you an idea, so if you're buying something for $36 at the store, know that it costs about $3 to bottle it for most products. Now, the higher the quality of the product goes, which we're gonna talk about, um, those margins go down, those multiples go down um, because you have to stay competitive and, and there's no way I could sell our supplements at 12X cost, nobody would, would ever buy them. So bottom of the barrel would be a synthetic. The next level up would be a whole food supplement. And it's just what it is, it's a whole food, um, it's been, you know, there's many different ways to process that food or that botanical, but essentially it's been dried, it's been concentrated and encapsulated. Um, that's gonna be better because your body can recognize it more as a food. It's gonna be more bioavailable. I, if you're gonna take a supplement and you're not gonna do a synthetic, at least make sure it's whole food. The next level up is gonna be a whole food supplement that is organic. This is where organic, I think, really matters in a big way because if it's organic, then you know that it hasn't been sprayed with pesticides, herbicides, insecticides. And you know when that botanical or food is being harvested it's, and it's being dried down and encapsulated, those pesticides, herbicides, insecticides, those poisons are staying on that botanical. And now you're just getting a high dose of it, just like you are of a higher dose of the nutrient when it gets dried and when it gets, um, when it gets encapsulated. So, it, for me, I mean, a whole food supplement is good, but I would really make sure that it's an organic ingredient. The other thing, and this is, you know, this is a big debate, right? Is organic food, does it have a higher nutrient density than a non-organic or GMO foods versus non-GMO? That's another thing is if it's organic, that also means that it's non-GMO. Um, I'm not gonna go down the argument of, is it more nutrient dense or not? I believe that they are. I think that pesticides, herbicides, insecticides are destroying the soil. They're destroying the bacteria and all the organisms that are in the soil. And if the soil is um, not nutrient dense, then it cannot be absorbed into the plant, the botanical, whatever is being harvested there. Um, but that argument aside, whether it's more nutrient dense or not, the fact that you're ingesting poisons um, because it's been sprayed with insecticides, herbicides is clearly not good. And most of us are taking supplements or some sort of supplement to get healthier. And if it's not organic, then now you're taking a bunch of poisons to go with that healthy supplement. The challenge also is, I mean, consider your microbiome and your gut and what that's made up of, right? And all the bacteria and all the living things that are inside of us. And if you take an herbicide, insecticide, um, pesticide that's getting in that poison, it's now killing all of this stuff inside of your gut. I don't remember the exact number, but it's like 45,000 or 45 billion cells are of foreign things, of bacteria, viruses, um, insects, different things in our body that make that, and we only have 35,000 billion cells in our body that make up us. So it's almost an argument that there's more things that aren't us than us inside of us. And when we take these poisons and we ingest them, we're killing it. Right. And so we're we're really causing a lot of damage, in my opinion, when we're eating non-organic foods and when we're especially taking non-organic supplements. Just that high concentration, um, I think, is extremely harmful. So synthetic, whole food, whole food, organic. The highest level that I would think that, that I think is out there is a 
whole food organic that's also been sprouted or fermented if at all possible. The fermentation process, it opens up a whole plethora of new nutrients. Um, it also starts the breakdown process and it releases the enzymes. It starts breaking down that food, um, that botanical. And when you start that breakdown process and you've released those enzymes, when it gets inside of your body, you now need to use less of your own enzymes to break it down, right? And it makes it more bioavailable. It makes it easier uh, for the body to absorb it. So a, a good example of this is, let's say turmeric. Turmeric is, is a very popular thing right now. A lot of people are mixing turmeric with black pepper, um, pepperine, things like that to make it more bioavailable. The challenge is, is what are the side effects of black pepper, pepperine, bioperine with uh, prescription medications and things like that. So yes, black pepper makes it more bioavailable, allows you to absorb the curcumin much better, but you can do it in a much safer way by simply ingesting a fermented turmeric, right? We make a turmeric supplement as well called Turmeric 3D. We triple ferment it and now it's just as bioavailable, which means it's already started the breakdown process. Your body can easily absorb it without having something like a black pepper or something that may cause harm, cause issues in somebody's gut. So probably a very long answer to a, a very easy question, but I'm really trying to deliver the best information possible. It's really what we stand for at Organics is just informing the public. Like it doesn't matter if you buy my supplements or not. Quite frankly, I, I just want to inform people so that more people are screaming for organic supplements. It'll make them cheaper for all of us. Um, and so people really know what they're taking because they think that matters. They think there's just so much misinformation. So synthetic, don't even waste your time. Whole food, better. Whole food organic, I would highly suggest if you can find whole food organic uh, that is fermented or sprouted would be the highest level. That is so what I was hoping you would say. <laughs> I mean, the whole thing. and. It really does, I think, give it an easy framework to understand these, this hierarch hierarchical system of supplements is from you know, the low to the high. And I happen to know this because uh, you know, from the business side, as you were talking about, I happen to know that, uh, yeah, you know, for the type of supplements you're putting out, the margins aren't nearly as good as <laughs> some of these other supplements. But you also, and you might have said this already, but you also uh, you know, mentioned something to me that because people say okay let's say that i've got a synthetic supplement that is twenty dollars a month and this organic whole food supplement maybe even it's fermented or sprouted is 45 dollars a month it's more than twice as much but the premise or one point of view would be you're going to get better benefit from taking the other supplement every other day the good supplement than from a synthetic every day. So uh, is that right? At all day long, twice on Sunday. I mean, really the synthetic supplement, you might as well just open it up and dump it in the trash, you know, or in your toilet. And, and the way that you know that your body is not using it, and we've all seen this, right, is you take that cheap supplement and all of a sudden your urine is glowing yellow, right? That means it's just passing right through you. It's not being absorbed. And, and what you talk about is a really good point in the context too, not just you know, that, that expensive one, right? The, our multivitamin, I think, is, um, is $50 per month supply. You might only be able to take one every three days. You're still going to get more than that synthetic or even that whole food supplement because it's been sprouted, fermented. It is organic. And like you said, it's the same, you know, it, it may be two and a half times the cost, maybe three times the cost, but you're not getting anything from the lower ones, right? And it's not doing any good. Um, the other thing that you brought up that I really want to talk about is, you know, what's on the label and how, how bioavailable is it, right? So ascorbic acid, which I used before for vitamin C, most vitamin C supplements out there, that's what it is. It's a synthetic, it's ascorbic acid. It'll say, you know, 2000% your daily value, right? And it sounds all oh, phenomenal. I'm going to get 2000% of the vitamin C I need is going to help me, you know, fight off this cold. The challenge is, you know, you're maybe absorbing 1%, a half a percent, N not even that because it's not even recognized as a real food, um, as opposed to taking a vitamin C supplement that only says it's 100% of the daily recommended value, right? And you're absorbing 60%, 70%, 80%, 90 you know, it's very rare that you're going to absorb all 100%, but let's say you're getting in those 60, 70, 80s, 
it's a massive difference versus that one that's, you know, that, that says it's 15,000% and you're getting, you know, a fraction of 1% um, absorption from it. Uh, RDAs can be deceptive very often and, and, uh, and there's this sort of misnomer uh, that bigger is better. You know, oh, well, there's, it's just, uh, this is a 2,000% of the RDA. Well, this is 3,000% of the RDA, but it's, it's so, you know, in the context of understanding what you just said, those numbers are really uh, meaningless. You have to have a, a deeper layer of understanding relative to bioavailability, absorption, and, and the like. So I think that those are um, important considerations. Uh, what, what to you, you know, because I, I like this dimension of the conversation. So we, we've spoken to people who have academic backgrounds, you know, and, and researchers. Uh, we spoke to, uh, you know, people who are clinicians who are actually seeing patients, you know, every single day and working in these realms. Uh, you know, you really have kind of the uh, manufacturing and business context. So we talked about source materials, I guess. Would that be the right characterization of, you know, you know if it's uh, organic and it's uh, you know, fermented or sprouted, et cetera? That's kind of, the, okay, that's the source that's coming in. What would I want to know as a consumer about not only the source materials, but the manufacturing practices themselves? Does that matter? It does matter. I mean, the... So there, there's a few things to look for and trying to think the best way to answer the question. One of the best is looking at the company that you're working with and what do they stand for? What are their core values? Um, how transparent are they, right? And, and what is their, um, yeah, what, what kind of record do they hold? I mean, the reason I say this, anybody can start a supplement company, right? Uh, I'm, I'm living proof of that. I started a supplement company and again, I'm, I'm not a doctor or a scientist. Um, you know, the good news is I have a whole lot of integrity, right? And I have a whole lot um, of reason to want to build a whole lot of ethics that, that I want to build the best and the greatest really for myself and my family and then for everybody else that, that wants to come along the ride with me. So you've got to find out the company and, and what they stand for first and foremost. Second is asking for transparency. We, we do something that because it's really hard to know, it's really hard to believe, but I mean, you can pick up the phone and call a lot of these companies, right? You can call up Centrum or some of these synthetics and they'll tell you, hey, these are all synthetic materials. Hey, these are all derived in a lab. This is, this is where we get our stuff. If somebody tells you that it's whole food and it's organic, ask for proof, right? So um, show me. We send all of our products off to be third party tested by a company called NSF. They do a whole lot of the certification for um, supplements to make sure that they are approved for Olympic athletes and they do a whole lot of third-party testing and we test for glyphosate, right? The number one active ingredient in Roundup um, that Monsanto puts out, I'm sure a lot of the audience here is aware of. I mean, glyphosate is, it's horrific to have in there and to be ingesting into your body, yet that's the number one herbicide that's used out there. So we third-party test all of our products for glyphosate and we show these test results on our website and if it's not published you can you can email us or give us a call and we'll send you a copy of it um, they should all be published at this point but we test for glyphosate we test for gmos we test for other pesticides herbicides and insecticides we test for heavy metals and we show all of that right um it's i don't want to go too far on a tangent but when bone broth protein first came out and, and it started hitting the market um, one of our top competitors was promoting how healthy it was and how great it was, yet it wasn't an organic bone broth. And this is really important because if, if you're, let's call it, if, if it's a chicken bone broth and that chicken is not fed an organic diet, which means it's getting um, a GMO feed, right? Which means it's also very high, you know, it's got a ton of herbicides and pesticides sprayed on it. Well, that glyphosate itself, right, is stored inside of the bones. That's where most of it is stored whenever we ingest that kind of a, a poison. Chickens especially, it's stored inside of their bones, and now you're boiling down these bones, and you're making a bone broth out of it, and you're getting these high concentrations of glyphosate, and you're also getting these high concentrations of other heavy metals. So while, you know, there's all this information, like this bone broth is really healthy, and take this bone broth, but what you're not realizing is you've got to dig a little bit deeper. You can't believe all the hype, right? That's another thing that, that I've really learned is, I mean, if these companies out here would just spend 
more money on ingredients and research and creating a better product rather than all their money on marketing and selling it all, we'd all have much better supplements to choose from. Um, so I'm going on a little bit of a tangent, but it's important because bone broth is really big right now. We're one of the very few, if not the only, that does an organic bone broth because I know I, I've done interviews with Jeffrey Smith, um, who's kind of the godfather of the, the non-GMO movement um, and the organic movement. And I mean, he's talked about how detrimental it is and, and where the glyphosate gets stored in the bones and then you make a broth out of it. And this goes for buying any kind of broth, right? Whether it's a powder, or whether you're buying a bone broth in, in the store that's already um, in liquid form, you've got to make sure it's organic. So um, trying to get back to your original question, like, you know, uh, how do people know what to look for? And, and you've just, you've got to do a little bit of the research and you've got to see what that company stands for, see what their core values are and let that kind of help guide the way. But don't be afraid to make phone calls. Don't be afraid to go look at their website, look at reviews, email them um, and have them prove to you. If, if they're making a lot of claims, um, ask them for proof, right? And, and we do that with that third party verification, that third party testing. Another thing that we do, and I'm not trying to turn this into an information, an infomercial at all, because you know, if you buy our supplements, great. If not, no worries. I'm just here to educate. Uh, there's another big thing that happens in the supplement space where people advertise like turmeric or you know, let, let's use ashwagandha, right? People talk about, hey, ashwagandha is great and it's going to help you do this, that, and the other, and it's uh, you know, it, it's an adaptogen. And it's going to help you handle stress and there's all these studies to back it up. You know, here's 700 studies to show how good ashwagandha is. And they tie all of these studies to their supplement. But the challenge is, is you don't know the quality ashwagandha that was used in those studies, right? That study may have used a very clean, organic, high potent ashwagandha. Whereas this company has now said, you know what, I'm going to source the cheapest ashwagandha I can get out of China that's not organic, you know, it's costing me a few dollars a kilo, they're, they're making an ashwagandha supplement or they're, you know, blending it with some, with an ex another blend um, of other ingredients. And, you know, they're, they're making it for a few bucks and selling it for 50 bucks and, and touting all this amazing benefits from this ashwagandha that's in there. And it's just, it's BS is what it is because you're not gonna get those same results. This is why a lot of people say, I, I didn't get results, or I don't like supplements, or I don't feel a difference on them, or you know, didn't get all of these things that they wanted. It's because they've used all of these studies to build up the benefits and to sell this big dream, but then they put a crap supplement, a crap version inside of their supplement and sell it to you. So what we're doing, and we're transitioning you know, a lot of our formulations this way, even though we already buy really clean organic um, ingredients, you know, we just we, we now use an ashwagandha called KSM 66. It's a patented ashwagandha, which means it's just it's a very specific strain and it has um, double blind placebo controlled studies behind it that prove its efficacy. Right. So now I'm not just saying this is what ashwagandha does Buy my product because it has ashwagandha in it. I'm actually saying this is what KSM 66 ashwagandha does. And these are the specific studies proven um, to go with that specific ashwagandha. So now and, and this is these are the things that I have to go through as a, a supplement company owner to try to win the trust of the audience because it's been. Um, destroyed so much by a lot of unethical companies out there just trying to make a quick buck. Um, but I'm glad to do it, right? Like I'm, I'm happy to do it because I make all these supplements mainly for me um, and for my family and then for the people that follow us, like it's an added bonus. Um, on a side tangent, you know, Patrick, I was five years ago when I kind of started in the health space, I was 270 pounds. I was smoking a pack and a half of cigarettes a day. Um, I was drinking six, seven nights a week. I mean, I've been on my own health journey. When I started the, the supplement company four years ago, it was really, you know, I was in a, a, a good place where I was able to go out there and kind of start looking at what did I need to be healthy. And, and that's kind of how this whole thing began. So I just share all that to share a complete picture of like, I'm not that academic, I'm not that scientist, and I'm not that guy that, that can show all of these um, letters behind my name. But I am that guy who's been through that struggle of being, you know, extremely depressed, extremely unhealthy, putting my health last, and then going out and and you know being fortunate enough to have the means from other business ventures 
to go and hire the best people in the world to educate me and then start putting together the supplements that I needed and that others needed um, to kind of get us to where we are now. So, man, you ask quick questions and I give you like eight minute, 10 minute answers. I hope that's all right. Uh, uh, listen, I'm here for four hours. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> <Got> it. <laughs> and, and believe me, I jump in if I feel like, uh, you know, we're, we got we to move it along. But no, those, those are, are great answers. And I think here's what the takeaway is. You know, you're watching us right now. This is what I think the takeaway is for what Jonathan was just talking about. Um, I, most people want to just be told, do this, take that, what have you. Uh, and certainly we have been uh, showcasing, you know, certain uh, supplements. You can see from a variety of different people and, and you know, they have their own kind of uh, complexion, their own story, their own uh, point of view. But in the end, I think what really matters is that, you know, if you were listening to what Jonathan just said, is that there's more to it than just labeling. There's some understanding, but the good manufacturers are very forthright in telling the deeper story. Uh, like, like what uh, Jonathan was just talking about with Ashwa uh, Ashwanda, I almost said it wrong. Uh, it's been four hours. Uh, but, but, uh, that he, uh, but that not only is it uh, saying, okay, hey, we have sort of you know, some piece of an organic, uh, you know, some part of an organic source supplement here, but there's research behind it. It's a particular strain of the particular supplement. It is used in the way that was researched and delivered you know, in this way. I, I spoke to somebody once uh, who was a manufacturer and they talked about organic milk thistle. And he said, I can get organic milk thistle at, uh, I might be a little off in numbers, like $4 a kilo, but the stuff I'm getting is $36 a kilo. You can call them both organic milk thistle, but they are not the same thing. And I'm literally spending more four or five or six times the amount because the particular way that this milk thistle, the soil it grows in, the way it's harvested, et cetera, this stuff matters. So what I know, and I think if you just heard what Jonathan said, when a manufacturer is actually making the greater investment and going deeper, they usually want to write about that and talk about it and they're referencing it on the website. And the other thing is the, is the third party testing. So you know, I think you might know this, Jonathan, when you talk about um, glyphosate and, and GMOs, but we did an entire docu-series on GMOs. You know, GMOs revealed, and Jeffrey Smith, who you mentioned, was in our docu-series. He was one of the featured people in it. And, uh, and we know how devastating glyphosate is. And incidentally, we were called conspiracy theory. I, I, I can't tell you the horrible na names I was called. People, or kids around the world were going to starve because of the docu-series that we did on, <clears throat> on GMOs. And of course, here we are now a couple years later, totally vindicated, multi, multi, tens, in some cases, hundreds of million dollar awards given uh, to people who are terminally ill with cancer as a byproduct of, of glyphosate because Monsanto lied about it. So, uh, so you know, we were right in the docu-series. These things matter, and uh, as you can see, when, when somebody has a context like Jonathan is giving you here, saying, hey, we third-party test for glyphosate, we don't want that stuff in our supplements. It's easy to turn a blind eye. It's less expensive to turn a blind eye to these things but when you know better, um, you know, it's, it's like I'm, I'm paraphrasing the, the, uh, the expression that, you know, the darkest corners of hell are reserved for the people who know and turn a blind eye. It's, it's basically when you know better, when you know that your product is compromised if it has glyphosate in it, and, and at the same time saying, but if I test for it and find it there, it's a hassle, it's more expensive, et cetera, no you do the right thing. The right thing is send out the third party lab, look at your stuff, see if it's got glyphosate in it. And when it doesn't, tell the world about it. And if it does, you have to change your source material. So, uh, and, and that's, I think, you know, the, the good news is that I believe the people who are doing it right, like organics, um, they are doing the testing and then they're publishing that testing on their websites and disseminating that information. And people who have something to hide usually are hiding it. They're not publishing. They're not doing the third party testing. And that to me is a big, big clue. So I, I congratulate you, Jonathan, for, uh, for going those extra steps. And, and literally, because I, I think what you do is you're forcing the hands 
of all manufacturers. They have, you know, if, if you're out there doing this, it, it, it's hard for them to exist uh, at the lower bar. They have to step up their game. And I think you're, 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 you're raising the game for, for all, the whole supplement industry through those types of practices. Uh, and I appreciate that, Patrick. I mean, you know, and I, I do this when, when I do other interviews or things. It's like, whether you buy our supplements or not, it doesn't matter to me as much because in the grand scheme of things, I just want people to go out there and ask for organic ingredients in their supplements. And yes, you can ask for them from us and you'll always get them. But I, I don't mind you asking the other, you know, 5,000 companies out there are yours organic because it's the same thing. The more that we have people demanding organic, right, then the more organic farmers that we have, the cheaper that we can all get these organic ingredients and the cheaper we can make these organic supplements. I mean, quite frankly, you know, I hate that we have to label organic. I think these other guys should be labeling that they're non-organic, right? Because, and, and I feel this way in the food industry and all of that. And it's going that way. I mean, those that are paying attention, organic foods are becoming less and less expensive. Um, there's a lot more people going organic. The movement and the understanding and the global consciousness that is coming, that, that is growing around organic and non-GMO, it, it's undeniable. And, you know, wait a few more years and wait and see if it's not organic, if it is GMO, it's going to it's going to be few and far between, at least I hope. And, and I think that we're going in that direction. Well, uh, you and I both hope that. Uh, so uh, Justin, Justin is sitting to my right here and he's like on the live thread. We've got like floods of comments and questions coming in. Uh, so what, I don't know if you've seen you know, some of the prior things, but we've been doing kind of these giveaways for the next, say, 20 people that buy a, a Supplements Revealed Gold package. We'll add uh, you know, something to that package. Um, and we already, just so everybody knows, in your gold package, there is an organic supplement kit of a lot of the products that Jonathan was talking about. Really good. So, as a matter of fact, if I'm not mistaken, Jonathan, it's it, the retail value of that is in excess of like $200 or something, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, I, th I think we're doing a couple bottles of the Multivitamax, mm -hmm. which is our multivitamin, and also our 7M Plus, which mm -hmm. is our the mushroom. fermented organic mushroom blend. Yeah, so, and that's already going to be there when you buy a gold package, no matter if you bought already or if you're buying now. For the next, do you want to throw something in for the next 20 people? Actually, it's going to have to be for you because we'll give it to 20 that buy right now, and I want to balance it for the other people saying, well, randomly select 20 other people who already bought so they're not penalized for not buying, you know, saying that they have an opportunity to get it too. And no pressure. You don't have to give anything if you want, but if you got something, they'd say, yeah, we'll throw this in for the next 20 people. What could that be? I, I, I'd love to. Um trying to think what what is it that all right, so maybe we can poll your audience if they're on there live now so what we also did is we have we've now gone I, I went down the rabbit hole of supplements and that rabbit hole got so deep you know it's clearly why I have a supplement company now we now went down the rabbit hole of skincare um, and we've released a, a fully clean you know with uh, vitamin C serum that has no um, preservatives in it and things like that we also have an eye cream so I, I'm happy to do one of our vitamin C serums, one of our eye creams, um, again, fully organic, um, top of the line, no uh, preservatives, none of the parabens, none of the other craziness that's out there, no fragrances. Um, our stuff will actually go bad if you don't use it in a year. Um, it's not going to sit in, in your bathroom for 10 years and still be good. Um, so we can do our eye cream. We can do our vitamin C serum. The last thing we do is our, our collagens. We have a clean sourced collagens. Again, this is, you know, collagens, we can't get certified organic, but I can ensure that all of the places that I get, all of the ingredients that I'm getting are super clean and organic. So our clean source collagens, right? We get our bovine from grass-fed, pasture-raised cows in Argentina, right? Um, the collagens that we're getting from the fish is a wild-caught um, Alaskan uh, pollock that is caught in the Atlantic Ocean, not the Pacific Ocean. Um, that matters to some of us as well. Uh, as well as organic bone broth, uh, chicken bone broth and organic eggs. We've also, just to give a quick education around collagens, by the way, um, we've put vitamin C in there with uh, organic camu camu and acerella cherry. Uh, the reason vitamin C is important is because if you are deficient in vitamin C, uh, not only can your body not make its own collagen, but you can't absorb collagen either. So there's a lot of people taking collagen supplements, but if you're, if you're deficient in vitamin C, you're not getting near the benefits from it. 
It's also a multi-collagen, so it has five different collagens in there. Um, I think we also put some zinc in there to help the absorption of it. But our clean source collagens is um, absolutely amazing. It, it's, it's quickly become one of our best sellers. So I love for those that um, are okay with animal products. It is not a vegan product, clearly, um, because it is a collagen. There's no such thing as a vegan collagen. There are vegan products out there that help um, increase the production of collagen, but there's no such thing as a vegan collagen. So I'm happy to do the collagens. Um, now that I think about that, if there are people that want something that goes to both sides, are organic greens, right? We have a green juice powder where we've literally um, made juices and then dehydrated it down into a powder that has seven, 71 different greens. I mean, Patrick, my challenge here is picking which one to give you because like now I feel like I'm going down my whole line and, and, and want to talk about the amazing benefits of each one. Um, I'll, I'll put it like this. I'm happy to add $150 worth of our supplements. That's essentially about three supplements um, that your viewers can choose. So if you wanna just have them email us, or I can give you a special email, they can reach out to us. They can pick any three products in our line that they want, if that makes it easier. Yeah, jump me in. So that, that okay, well, uh, I, I didn't wanna add complexity, and I was sitting there saying, I mean, wow. Me neither, so, yeah, so This is a here. bunch of great <laughs> stuff, but it's gonna be 40, you know, 20 and 20. Uh, so I'll let them basically say, hey, uh, you know, I'll let them get directly in touch with you. So for the next 20 people, and we started about five minutes ago or four minutes ago, uh, Justin's got the timestamp. But for those 20 people who ordered the gold package, you're going to get an extra $150 of your choice. Yep. And then for the people who are already in the community of, of Supplements Revealed that, that purchased the gold package, we'll find we're going to randomly, you know, like a lottery style, pick 20 of those and uh, you'll get another $150 worth of supplements from Organics. That's more than generous, thank you. Mind you, it almost, that almost covers the full cost of the entire gold package. So your, your, your bonuses are way outpacing the cost. Remember, it's, was it 71%? I think 71% off during the live viewing period here. So please place your orders. There's a lot of bonuses there. And if you happen to get some of these extra bonuses, great. Uh, I do, I got one minute and then uh, I got to tie up for our, our next and final guest, Jonathan. But now we got to go to this, this uh, age thing, don't we? I, I was thinking about you know avoiding it, just say let's just move on and and not uh, not get into this. So, Jonathan's got 48. What, what are some of the other ones you got there? So we've got Kate Quimby who's saying, I know Patrick is 23, not a day older. I win. All right, give her all the bonuses. She wins. No. <laughs> <laughs> Do we still have Jonathan? I want to keep him up there. I'm still uh, here. Okay, good. So uh, so uh, what what's the other one so that we've was? Got, you have some more? Uh, Uresco says Patrick looks around 43, but I heard today he's 60. Weird. Okay, so then, so, so I guess then the secret got out. Yeah. So I, I, as I sit here right now, I am 60 years of age. So uh, that is the right the right number. Uh, and uh, I think I don't know if she was the first one to guess it. I know it's searchable, and I know that we mentioned it in the series. So we'll we'll figure out who the first one to, to chime in was. Uh, weird is right because I don't feel sixty either, so it is weird. It's weird for all of us. So uh, thanks everybody. You look for amazing, man. You're, you're doing something right. That's for sure. <laughs> you know, I guess this stuff does pay off. You know, it's a long run payoff, but you keep doing it. And uh, yeah, thank you. I, I don't. I, I actually get weird. Uh, it is weird because when I hear my age, it's like I don't really, I don't identify at sixty, but. Um, here I am. So uh, <laughs> it's, it's all those good organic supplements, anyway. Jonathan. Thank you. <laughs> do we, do we want to know who the first person was? Sure. It's Valerie Adams was the first person to guess 60. All right, Valerie. So, hey, can we give Valerie uh, one of those $150 uh, uh, things from you, Jonathan? Absolutely. All right. So Valerie's okay. going to get, uh, so Valerie, you guessed right. You were the first one to guess right. So you're, you're going to get a $150, uh, $150 order uh, credit at Organics. Uh, Jonathan, thank you so very much. Uh, just phenomenal content, phenomenal information. Thanks for playing around with this little giveaway stuff that we're doing. I just wanted to kind of, yeah. hey, I'm here for four hours. I had to have some fun and make it a little bit fun and interactive. So, and uh, you know, I look forward to you uh, putting you on an ongoing basis, Jonathan. Uh, I want you to be sharing with this Supplements Revealed audience. I think they learned from you. We got great feedback from your interview and thank you for taking time on your Saturday. Awesome, Patrick. Thanks for having me, man. You have what, an hour left or 40 uh, minutes left? 20, 20 minutes left, actually. We, get, we, we have 20 minutes. We may, maybe we'll run a few minutes over, but 20 minutes is the schedule. You're doing amazing stuff, man. I hope you know how much I support you and not just this docu-series, but all the other work that you do, man. So, Thank very, you so very much. honored to be a part of this live broadcast. Really an honor to be with you. Thanks so much and have a great rest of your day. Thank you.